Regardless of who you are, mighty or meek, everybody has to follow the law. Nobody's above it. It all started with a blog post detailing crimes on the job. As the sheriff should be served with that lawsuit. Then a confession. I did uh, have a consensual encounter. And now criminal charges. On charges of misconduct in office and obstruction of justice, charging Sheriff Lewis with these offenses. Today, as a retired sheriff puts back on the badge. I look forward to the challenge. The investigation into Will Lewis is nowhere near over. Uh, we could be presenting additional indictments to the grand jury. 7 News at 6 starts right now. Good evening. The hammer of justice has come down against a man whose job was to enforce it. Yeah, Greenville County Sheriff Will Lewis has been indicted on charges of misconduct in office and obstruction of justice. And we have team coverage. 7 News was the first to report this news as our Brianna Smith broke the story this morning and she has the latest details on the criminal investigation. Kirsten Glavin talked to local leaders who are weighing in on what's next for Greenville County. First, Aaron Rogers, who talked to the new sheriff, Johnny Mac Brown. So Aaron Brown isn't new, of course, to the sheriff's office. Yeah, Diane, he's not. He is Greenville County's longest serving sheriff. Now, he has officially been sworn in, and moments ago, Sheriff Brown told me this was his seventh time doing so. Walking into the doors he walked through for nearly a quarter of a century. I'm back home. Governor McMaster appointed retired Sheriff Johnny McBrown earlier this morning. He's totally trustworthy, he's enormously experienced in the could not be a, a better selection. After a grand jury indicted Sheriff Will Lewis on two charges. I think he'd have been much better off if he had taken my, you know, request, and that is to step aside. After a former sheriff's office employee accused Sheriff Lewis of sexual assault on a business trip last year, Sheriff Brown came out asking for Sheriff Lewis to resign. He even told me months ago he'd be interested in being appointed. I had no idea that it would really happen. I gotta figure out which opens the door. Now that it has, he says he's ready. My leadership style is simply everybody's involved. Sheriff. But his appointment doesn't come without concern. I see that the shaft that they re, that they put Johnny McBrown back in place. Blacks did not do well under Johnny McBrown's administration. Then AACP says they do want to work with Sheriff Brown. Sheriff Brown says he's not sure what's next or what changes he'll make, but he's focused on building morale. We will address where are we, how did we get here, what are we going to do about it, and how can we make it better. Now, Sheriff Brown says he will not seek re-election, but he could be interim sheriff for a while. Now, there would only be a special election if Sheriff Lewis resigns or is convicted. And if either one of those actually does happen, well, it still could be months before a special election happens. Live in downtown Greenville at the Law Enforcement Center, I'm Erin Rogers, 7 News. Aaron, earlier today when uh, 7 News brought our viewers uh, the live coverage of this announcement that um, Brown would be at the new interim sheriff, he had mentioned he really wanted to restore morale. Did you talk with him about how he hopes to do that? Yeah, so I did talk with Sheriff Brown kind of at sporadically throughout the day. He says he's not really sure what changes he will make and he plans to just restore morale by really listening to all of the deputies inside of the sheriff's office. He also says one of the first things he wants to do is get his gold and blue cars back. If you may know, the sheriff's office did roll out new cars earlier this year. So not sure if he was joking on that one, but he said that that would be one of his priorities along with raising the spirits in the office. Diane. All right, Aaron Rogers live in Greenville. Thank you, Aaron. The charges that came down today against Sheriff Will Lewis follow seven months of investigation by the State Law Enforcement Division. It all started shortly after Lewis took office at the beginning of 2017, replacing Steve Loftus. In March, Lewis went on a business trip and had an affair with a former employee. Then in August, that employee, Savannah Neighbors, published a blog post detailing the affair. Neighbors filed a lawsuit in October and Lewis admitted to the affair shortly after. An investigation has been underway since then. 7 News investigative reporter Brianna Smith has been following that investigation every step of the way. She's live tonight from the Greenville County Courthouse with much more. Brianna. 
Yeah, Tom, there's no way to know whether Savannah neighbors uh, complaint is actually what was the basis of these charges today. But we do know that Sheriff Lewis walked away from a grand jury hearing with two indictments. So let's break that down. The indictments say that Lewis failed willfully and dishonestly to discharge his duties as sheriff and also that he attempted to impede the administration of justice. He's now being charged with obstruction of justice along with misconduct in office. Now, SLED agents from Columbia actually handled the investigation, so there would be no conflict of interest. And while solicitor Kevin Brackett says these charges have been handed down today, this investigation is just getting started. You said that more charges could be forthcoming. Why was it important to get these indictments today and not wait until there's more charges or, or look further into that investigation? Well, we uh, wanted to move forward on the information that we did have that, uh, that we, we felt comfortable making charges on. The investigation itself is ongoing. There are additional uh, interviews and, and uh, matters that need to be looked into. So uh, Sheriff Will Lewis, or uh, suspended Sheriff Will Lewis, is actually being represented by three prominent attorneys here in Greenville County. They just released a statement to me. I want to read it to you in part that our client is aware of the charges, and they say that uh, they're looking forward to receiving the SLED report and also the purported basis for the allegations. And until they get that information, they're not going to be commenting any further. We know that Will Lewis will be in court Thursday morning at 10 a.m. to face an arraignment hearing, which is really just a formal bond hearing in front of a circuit court judge. We will be there for that. We're live in Greenville County tonight for you. Brianna Smith, 7 News. So Brianna, Solicitor Brackett from the 16th Circuit has certainly left the door open for the possibility of more indictments. What do we know about the likelihood of that? Yeah, I really want to focus in on some language that he released during, in a press release today. He said more arrests and more charges. That could mean that the scope of this investigation could be far past just Sheriff Lewis. Obviously, it's been seven months, and Sheriff Lewis self-reported this investigation, but at this point, SLED's not commenting on where their investigation took them, so it's going to be interesting to see what comes in the next days, weeks, and months out of this SLED investigation that's really just getting started. All right, Brianna Smith with the very latest tonight. Brianna, thank you. Well, of course, many officials now learning of the indictment are weighing in on it. And 7 News reporter Kirsten Glavin is standing by at 7 on Main with more on their reaction. Kirsten. Well, that's right. Greenville County Council has been very involved in this ever since the lawsuit first came out. You may remember they voted to audit the sheriff's office back in November. Now, that's why this indictment is not coming as a surprise to many county council members today. We just spoke with County Councilman Lynn Ballard from District 26. He's one of them not entirely shocked to hear of these charges. He says it's his understanding that employees at the sheriff's office have been put in a tough position over the past seven months, ever since Lewis admitted to the affair with his assistant. Now, his hope is that this will restore their faith and ease some of those tensions. I was not surprised. And what I am happy about is that now the sheriff's department can have some stability, hopefully. And we will hear from several other county council members coming up at 7 o'clock. For now, we're live at 7 on Main in downtown Greenville. I'm Kirsten Glavin, 7 News. Thank you, Kirsten. And just into the newsroom, we've got a statement from the Greenville police chief on, this on, on the ongoings within the neighboring sheriff's office. Chief Ken Miller says, quote, The Greenville Police Department pledges its full support to Sheriff Brown and the many honorable employees of the Greenville County Sheriff's Office as they strive to refocus their efforts in serving those living, working, and visiting our incredible community. We will have continuing coverage of the indictment of Sheriff Will Lewis all evening, so keep it right here on 7 News.